guys, Mariah and Nev here. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about cloth wipes. There are a few main reasons why we chose to use cloth wipes. The first reason being it will save us money in the long run. So it does feel like a little bit more money up front um, because you have to buy like the wipes warmer and then the cloth wipes and all the supplies for it. But over time as they get older and especially if you have more than one baby, all of the money that you're saving on buying wipes every week definitely adds up. Another reason why we use cloth wipes is that it's really good for their skin. I have very sensitive skin. My first daughter had really sensitive skin when she was a baby and Nev seems to as well. So I love how the cloth wipes are just really gentle on their skin. I know exactly what's going into the formula versus some of the other brands of baby wipes that can have various harsh fragrances and chemicals and things like that. Now I am a science major. I definitely know that everything is a chemical. In this topic of conversation, I'm talking about like harsh added chemicals that are not really necessary to put in wipes to begin with. So it's just nice being able to put together our own wipe solution and knowing exactly what's going against her skin. And kind of piggybacking off of that point, cloth wipes work a lot better than disposable wipes in my experience. Each cloth wipe is kind of like a little mini bath for your baby's bottom, but especially if they poop, typically one cloth wipe can do the job that it would normally take like five or more disposable wipes to do. A third reason to use cloth wipes are if you're going ahead and using cloth diapers, it just makes so much more sense to use cloth wipes as well. Um, you're cutting down on the amount of trash that you're throwing out each week. You're already doing a lot of diaper laundry anyway, so it doesn't matter throwing in some extra wipes into the wash. So in my opinion, a good cloth wipe solution has a few key components. The first one being something that actually cleanses the skin. My all-time favorite baby wash has been this one. This is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Chamomile and Argan Oil Baby Wash in Shampoo with Frankincense and Myrrh. It's a really long name. It works amazingly well. It smells so good. Um, I have been using this, excuse you little lady. I've been using this on my, <laughs> you all good now? I've been using this on each and every one of my babies from the time they are brand new. So basically just a quick little squirt of this, not a whole lot. Obviously you don't want so much that you're leaving um, tons of baby wash residue on your baby's skin with every diaper change. This stuff smells heavenly. Every time I smell it, it brings me right back to those early days with my first baby. And this is basically what makes me feel like my baby's butt is getting like seriously cleaned each time I change her. The next important component to the cloth wipe solution is something that is lubricating. This lubricating component is going to help prevent the cloth wipes from being abrasive against the baby's skin. Cloth wipes are very gentle and soothing and soft anyway, but I just like to add that extra feature that makes it so the wipes basically glide over the skin. It was so cute, little bug. And I like to use coconut oil for that purpose. Just about a spoonful, you put it into the wipes warmer. The warm water helps to melt the coconut oil and disperse it throughout the entire thing. If your baby does end up with a diaper rash at some point, this is also super important. It will help. It'll help clear up the baby's diaper rash. The third component that I like to add to the cloth wipe solution is some kind of essential oil. I'm definitely very cautious when it comes to essential oil use in my babies. I don't diffuse it into the air, and when I use it in the cloth wipe solution, I only use one or two drops in the entire container. Very diluted, and then I prefer to use either lavender oil for the scent, or I'll use tea tree oil for like the antimicrobial and antifungal properties. Of course, if you don't like any of these ingredients, you can play around and come up with your own ingredient solution. There are a ton of recipes out there on the internet, tons of different baby washes, different oils that you can use. This is just personally what we've been doing for the last four years. It has worked great on each of my three babies as newborns. In every video, ow. This is why moms don't wear their hair down. I put her down to play over there. So there are a few different methods for using cloth wipes. Some people will use like a spray bottle of solution and they will use it to spray their wipes first. I don't like using that method just because when the wipe solution is not kept warm, then the coconut oil will harden and clump up. And then also because when you spray it on your baby, it's cold and that can kind of be jarring to them and not exactly pleasant. Oh, she's actually playing with her gym over there. So for that reason, I like to use the cloth wipe 
wipes warmer and actually soaking all of the wipes in the warmer so that's going to be the method that I talk about today. So there are a few different products that we use for this setup. I'm going to jump right in and talk to you guys about what I use. The first is definitely one of the most important components of this and that is a wipes warmer. I use the Prince Lionheart Warmies wipes warmer. I got it off of Amazon. I really like this one because it has this lid that opens up to um, just basically the wide open space inside where you can actually lay the cloth wipes. Some wipes warmers have like those tops where you have to pull the wipes through a small slit in the top. Those are more geared towards disposable wipes, but this one is definitely more geared towards cloth wipes, which is why I ultimately chose this one. One thing that you do have to keep in mind when using a wipes warmer is keeping an eye on your wipes and making sure that they're not getting moldy or gross over time. We go through wipes really quickly. I only put enough in there that we will use in like one day's time. And then we have seriously been using the exact same cloth wipes for the last four years. So these are the Circo brand cloth wipes. They're baby washcloths. I got these from Target and they've held up. These have been used on three babies now over the course of the last four years, washed tons of times, and they're still going strong. What I love specifically about the Circo brand washcloths is that they are super thin. So they're really good at getting in and cleaning the crevices of the diaper area. Well, yeah, we have a ton of baby washcloths. I just keep them all in this plastic bin from Target. Um, but as you can see, these are just like all of the washcloths that we've amassed over the last four years. But the majority of these are original to when Ren was a newborn. And then again, we use the Shea Moisture baby wash, the coconut oil, and the lavender oil. Yeah, I am going to take you guys into the bathroom and show you how I actually put together this solution. Okay, so this is how I put together our cloth wipe solution. Um, first, I make sure to get the water running really warm. All right, so here's the coconut oil. Basically, just take a big spoonful of that. And do just a small squirt of this. And then the lavender oil, just a drop or two of this. I'll fill up the wipes warmer with water, just like that. And then just use like a spoon to mix it all together. Make sure that the coconut oil gets nice and melted. I'll just take the cloth wipes and just kind of lay them in there. In the end, they all get pulled out really easily anyway, so I don't waste my time with folding them. I will just keep pressing the cloth wipes down in there until most of the solution is soaked up. I will rotate the cloth wipes around like this and turn them over so that each and every one of them gets evenly saturated with the solution. And yeah, that's basically all I do. In terms of washing the cloth wipes, it's really simple. I just follow the exact same protocol for washing my cloth diapers. I use Tide Powder Detergent because that is one of the most recommended detergents for cloth diapers. If you haven't heard of Fluff Love and Cloth Diaper Science on Facebook, I highly recommend going and looking up that group. They are awesome. It's basically everything science-based behind cloth diapering and getting cloth diapers clean. I love that that group is all evidence-based and science-based, and I will leave a link to the Fluff Love recommendation for cleaning cloth wipes and cloth diapers in the description box below. So if you want to go check that out and come up with a good routine for you that fits what detergent you use and it fits what washer you have, then go and check that out. It will save your life and it will save your sanity. But yeah, that is everything cloth wipes related. We absolutely love using cloth wipes. Her little butt gets so clean with every diaper change. She rarely ever gets a rash and we are saving so much money by using these wipes year after year, baby after baby, and we're also keeping a whole bunch of wipes out of the landfill, which I feel good about. If you guys have any other questions about using cloth wipes, please feel free to ask in the comments down below. And yeah, that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. He's so happy. Bye guys.